Hello and welcome back to another tavern brawl. This week we have um we have uh we have a repeat. <laughs> I uh, was wondering how long it would take before they started to reuse some of their old tavern brawls, and it's good to see that they are not just kind of abandoning them. Uh, this was back from week four or so, something like that, and we're on week nine, I think, something like that. It's been it's been like a month since we've seen the Great Summer Competition, uh, but we're playing a different deck this time around. Uh, we were playing the uh, Warlock deck before, um, and I decided to switch it up for a Druid deck. I don't think we've really been playing many Druid decks in our Tavern Brawls. Um, I think we may have done one week of Druid, but decided to go with the Druid deck. Um, kind of an all-around, a lot of control, a lot of kind of buffing through the Marco Wilds. Um, Power of the Wild, Savage Roar, and so on and so forth. So I figured, let's give it a go. See how things go this time around. And uh, I fully suspect that we're going to be running into a lot of uh, probably other druids and a lot of mages. Uh, that's kind of what one thing I was seeing from last time we saw this was there was a lot of mages. Um, and I don't remember seeing many druids, but I didn't really get to play a huge amount of games. Um, but I think Druids was another one of those decks, just because they are a fairly spelly, spelly deck compared to uh, other classes. And look at that. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I must protect the one. We will be facing Nation one now. Um, okay, so we are not going first, so we don't have the coin. Uh, we're going to want to go for cheap, efficient cards. That is not too cheap for us. Uh, turn two, Wild Growth is going to be good. Uh, that will give us a turn four. Turn three, Mark of the Wild, uh, not Mark of Nature. That should pump up a creature, but we're not going to have a creature to pump up by that time. Let's just p pitch that back. We'll keep Wild Growth. See what we can get. Uh, Claws is good. Um, that way, if he drops anything early. Okay, we could drop that. Let's drop this early. Oh, hmm. That's a good one. <laughs> it's gonna get some good early damage output going on. Assuming he can't kill that guy, uh, he's probably gonna coin out a spell to kill it, if I had to guess as much. There we go. Um, where is he? No! Okay, he's doing something I did not expect. However, we're gonna get a little bit of damage on his face. Oh, nope, he's gonna go for it. He's going for... Yep, there it is. He will be taking some damage, luckily. Um, but he did uh, pop his board up pretty big right there. He's digging. Yeah, that's what I was not looking forward to, the power of the wild. That is a really, really dirty combo when it comes to... And we're going to have to wait a few turns for that. Oh, this is not going to be good for us. Um, dirty combo <laughs> in general when it comes to the... The um, when it comes to the druid, and I have a bad feeling about this game. We'll see if I can live two more turns. I should be able to clean up the board pretty nicely. Well, decently. Um, we will have a next turn, um, a next turn swipe, which is good. Uh, next turn, this turn swipe, next turn starfall should clear his board up pretty good. Um, we'll kill this guy first because he's the biggest threat on his board um, that I can actually hit. Um, throw that. Let's throw another one of you. Ooh, okay, this is a good board position. Um, we have enough damage in with in our hand with the Starfall to be able to wipe his board. Uh, he's going to have to start playing. Um, oh. This time for sure. Okay, that's... <laughs> That was uh, not the play I was expecting from him. He's going to try to wipe our board. There he comes. There we go. Ooh. It does tickle a bit. A swipe would be nice right now. Okay, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to save the Starfall. Uh, it wouldn't probably be a waste at this point. Uh, we do have a Wrath for this. Uh, okay, all right. Good play, good play. We'll throw on a little bit of this. How do I want to do this? He's got two cards in hand. Um, I can keep this. 
And I'll prevent one of the damages. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that damage. I can't kill his creature, unfortunately, so it's not really worth attacking into it. Um, seeing as I'm gonna, it'll, I'll just end up taking two damage off of it in the long run. Um, ooh. Okay, not what I was looking forward to. So he's got two plays that I see. He's gonna either attack it at me, which it doesn't look like he's doing. Um, okay. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay, first we'll do a star fall. We'll do, ooh, some good damage to his board. We'll go ahead and do some damage to hit him. Um, now, God, he's got so much cards in the end. Um, I'm gonna need my nourish <laughs> to kind of catch up with that. Um, if I had to guess, he's gonna swing into. Oh, not what I expected, but the star fall, of course. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is, this is not turning out like I would like it to. Okay, we have five damage for something. This guy is not something I want to be sticking around, unfortunately. Uh, do five to that. Oh, oh, that's really good. Um, I will take this opportunity. I'm gonna swing into this. Ooh, luckily his pat ability didn't proc. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage, but luckily for us, health is a resource. Um, so it's not not a terrible thing to take a little bit of damage here and there every so often. Uh, but we do have a seven eight. Uh, he's gonna pump it four health, four damage. Yeah, I figured as much. Health is a resource, like again I was just saying. So it doesn't. Every so often, it's not a bad thing. Oh, man, he is getting such better draws, such better draws than I am. Ooh, okay, we have a combo here. Ooh, okay. Okay, we can pop this. Um, that gives us four, eight, twelve. Um, not enough to kill him, unfortunately. However, I will take out uh, a few of his guys, and he's going to get a couple 2-2s, two unfortunately. Um, we can wipe out those 2-2s. Two trying to stabilize the board as best as I can. <laughs> um, we sort of stabilized it, but he does have a lot of cards in his hand. Ah, uh, not what I would have liked to see. <laughs> Okay, plus two plus two. Yeah, that nourish that he played got him at a really big advantage compared to us. He's gonna pump the same one. Oh no, he isn't. Okay, smart play, smart play. Okay, let's see. Okay. The big thing is, I'm thinking I want to swing into his four four with my guy. It's kind of a dangerous play. He's got four, five, six, seven, eight damage on the board. We will live. However, if he swings, if he kills us, he's going to have even more. He'll have eight, ten, twelve damage, which is not something realistically I want to deal with. Unfortunately, this is a game of randomness and a game of chance, so there's always those possibilities of people getting better draws than you. And unfortunately, this is one of those... Um, decks that I foresaw a lot of people playing. I was just hoping not to play it against the first round. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. He's gonna add four to it. There's health damage. Oh, his health. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. I must safeguard the land. Of course, of course, you would. <laughs> I would need to poison the seed myself. Okay, this is gonna be a tricky one. I don't know if I perceive myself coming back from this, but you never know. Ooh, that is actually pretty good right now. Let's put that back in your deck. It's two, four, five, six, seven. As long as he doesn't have one point of damage for me, I can live another turn. Hmm. Starfall. 
Okay, healing touch. Oh no, that's game. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten damage. That's a bit overkill, guy. I don't know why you. I don't know why people do this. Just kill the t kill me with the, what you did. The damage you only have, you only need. Well, well, uh, that unfortunately is this week's tavern brawl. Another one of those. Oh, well, those ones where there's not unfortunately going to be a lot of diversity in the decks that you're probably going to run into. You're probably going to be seeing a lot of druids playing or druid spell decks and mages. Unfortunately, probably more so druid. But you will be seeing a lot of them. Um, well, I guess that's going to do it for this week, guys, in this Tavern Brawl. Actually, let me check how long we've been going. Maybe we have time for another one. Alright, it's only been ten minutes. Um, I think we have time for another Tavern Brawl. Let's do another one. Let's see if we're going to face a Druid again. <laughs> like I said, it's going to most likely be a Druid or a Mage. Uh, Shaman is always a possibility. Um, that would be exciting to see. Um, I remember we faced the uh, war oh, not war uh, uh, warrior deck we saw last time uh, when we were playing the um, warlock. Yep, there's a mage. <laughs> like I said, there's only so much you can expect. And this hand is not a very good starting hand. Um, let's pitch all of this. We're looking for some cheap early spells. Um, uh, not, not really what I was looking for. Um, alright, well, let's get some early, early threat on the board. Uh, he's probably gonna coin out some damage to my 3-2, unfortunately. But, maybe not, maybe not, we'll see. No mirror, mirror image. Okay, all right. Good play on his part. Um, we will save that savage roar for uh, when we get a. For the wild. Uh, for the wild. Sure. Let's throw that into that. I uh, will save the savage roar for when we get a few more threats. It would be a little bit silly to play it on this turn right now. Even though we could technically wipe his board with the, the savage or the savage roar. Um, it would be a little bit silly to kind of waste it on that. God, I would love the soul of the forest right now. Uh, we don't. I would like another one or two more creatures before we soul the forest. Though, if we cast it, we're, it's going to give us three, so it might be a good choice in general. Um, and that will give us kind of more threats on the board for the inevitable uh, board sweep, which is not. Gonna happen. Freezes it, kills that guy. Hmm. Okay, we need to wipe his board. That's that's just what needs to happen. <laughs> Ooh, okay, nice, nice pull off of that one. We will unfortunately draw a card from his uh what's his name? Blood Mage Stalinus. But we have ourselves a <laughs> nice little 5-5. Five five. Now this is a board situation that if I can get... Um, if he doesn't wipe my board or kill much of the board, uh, he's going to coin. It's going to hit me twice. Oh, that was open. I really, I really, really dislike the mage. <laughs> this guy in particular. That's a very pain in the ass creature. Uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, then I will soul the forest. Um, that way we can get a more board. And I, I need to kill that guy. He cannot stick around. He is too, too threatening of a creature to stick around. Uh, pretty much synergizes so well with this kind of format. And that his deck is all spells. And it, if we leave it, it's just going to wipe our board. And kill us. But, luckily for us, <laughs> we have a nice fat board that's giving us these uh, treants. I'm really happy with this board. He's going to wipe it, though. Freeze mage. Freeze mage. Okay, 
what can we do against this? Um, he's going to want to swing into our 5-2. Um, if we taunt our 3-5, he's going to have to kill that. And I feel that we're going to want to kill this guy. It's going to have to be worrisome of his spells at this point. Um, we don't have to worry till 7 mana. He's got, um... 7 mana is his 4 damage to all my creatures. So that is the turn that's going to be threatening for us. Um, we luckily don't have to wait... We have to wait 2 turns, luckily, because he has, um... Pay attention, class. I am ready to wow. That's a pull. Um... Because he doesn't have his coin, so we don't have to worry about that aspect. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I think we can kill him this turn. <laughs> um. What to do? You shall not pass. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Boom. Alright. Much better game. <laughs> Much better game. And now you see the horrors. The horrors of the Druid deck. Because there's just so much combo potential. Especially in this kind of format right here. Alright. Victory. And our pack. And quest gold. Alright. Perfect. Let's go open our pack and we can call it there for today. Come on. Give me something fantastic. Blue, another blue. All right. Okay, okay. A couple of rares. Ah, nothing I don't have already. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thanks for joining, as always. And I'll catch you guys next week for some more Hearthstone.